Friday is actually marking the two year anniversary of when the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. Since then, more than 10,000 people in Connecticut have died from COVID-19. But as we now head into the third year of this pandemic, there are signs of optimism because of widespread vaccinations and declining rates of the virus. Joining us now to talk about the two year pandemic here is Dr. David Bannock from the Yukon Health Department. Dr. Bannock, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on. I want to first ask you, you know, we're seeing a lot of these mask mandates lifted, whether they be in schools or indoor settings. It just takes you right back to May of 2020 when we started to celebrate, you know, take off our masks a little bit. And then, of course, we saw what happened. Is that what's going on now, in your opinion? So, you know, I think that there's a lot of uh, differences that we're seeing now in 2022 compared to what we saw a couple of years ago, um, which I think are going to be really important. Um, first of all, you know, we know that we have a larger percentage of the population who has had some immunity, um, if not uh, from infection itself, but also from the vaccination. And I think that that's going to be really important in um, reducing the risk of um, of seeing uh COVID surges uh, moving forward. Um, and I think importantly, we also have effective treatments, uh, including some preventive treatments for high risk individuals. Um, and I think that's also going to be a big difference um, moving forward in terms of if we do see infections, we will be able to address them uh, and treat people sooner. So, and then the um, overall testing and surveillance is much more robust um, than we had um, in previous years. And I think all these things together put us in a much more optimistic place moving forward. You know, Dr. Bannock, I feel like wearing the mask has become a habit. I mean, it's been you know, well, a little under two years of when people started wearing those masks. You know, three weeks ago, people were still being told to wear masks. Now you can take them off. What's your advice to people who are going into grocery stores or might feel apprehensive about what's actually going on with COVID numbers in Connecticut? So, you know, I think, um, you know, seeing a uh, lowering of um, uh, lower infections, a fewer infections, I think is really important. But I think when it comes down to it, there's going to be some individualization. So people who um, feel like uh, because of their medical conditions, they may be at higher risk or maybe, um, you know, they're more concerned that uh, they may be in close contact with someone that's higher risk. And that might influence their decision to wear masks. And that's OK. You know, I think, um, you know, it becomes a bit more of an individualized decision regarding masking or um, deciding not to wear a mask and also thinking about those who are around us and the type of situation that we're in. So, you know, I, th I think that w this will continue to shift moving forward, you know, here in healthcare, we're still going to be wearing masks um, for the foreseeable future. Um, but, you know, I think in different parts of society, we'll see um, some differences and this will be constantly evolving in the weeks and months ahead. You know, the theme, a lot of the COVID conversations we're having on air and even in person is kind of like, how do things change going forward? Now that the masks are coming off, what what are the lasting changes that the last two years are going to have on our society? In your opinion, uh, is it going to be almost like a, like a flu shot in, in a way? Like what can we kind of equate what we're about to see in the next maybe, you know, one to two years post COVID. And so, I mean, I think, um, what I think is likely uh, that we'll see is that COVID won't be gone forever. You know, I think there's a lot of indication that it's going to be in, become endemic. Um, you know, what this might look like is a little unclear. This might look like um, in the winter time we see increases in cases, kind of like what we've seen with flu and other respiratory viruses. And maybe in that kind of situation, we need to institute some of the more preventive strategies um, to try to get through that season. Um, you know, I think we still need to be mindful of um, doing surveillance, looking for any new variants that might um, throw a hiccup into the situation, but. Uh, um, you know, I think as we think about um, respiratory viruses, COVID is going to be part of that picture um, moving forward. And that also may include vaccinations um, um, and potentially boosters that could possibly be needed in the future. So I think um, it's going to continue to evolve. We've got to be mindful of what we're seeing around us, what the science is telling us, and respond accordingly. And certainly a lot of questions still surrounding kids under the age of five and their access to those vaccinations. Dr. David Bannock, we've been talking to you for some two years over Zoom amazing. on the News at Four. We really appreciate your expertise and for coming on and always uh, telling it like it is. Oh, well, thanks for having me.